welcome back okay so today i decided i wanted to do a blush collection video so i just want to go through all my blushes show them to you guys let you guys check them out maybe you might see something that you are interested in or you like or maybe you just want to know what blushes i have <laughs> so yeah i wanted to go ahead and do a blush collection video i'm gonna try and run through these real quick so I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing for this video because it's going to be long. Okay, you guys, I have like three of these um, full of blush. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. I might do a swatch or two here or there, but for the most part, I'm just going to tell you what it is and show it to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first one I have here is actually the Lolita from Kat Von D. This is what it looks like, and I got this in a subscription box. And I guess what it can do or what it can be is a blush or an eyeshadow. So I threw it in with my blushes because I really don't use single eyeshadows that are in their own packaging like this. So that is what she looks like, and she's actually really pretty. Next, I have here a blush from Giordana. This is Warm Cider, and this is what the Giordana packaging looks like, just in case you're not familiar. Very, very affordable brand. This one actually kind of looks like the Lolita, to be honest with you. Let me take a quick look. <laughs> I know I said I was going to try to hurry up. Yeah, it's very close to the Lolita. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were so similar. But anyways, that one is from Jordana. Like I said, it is Warm Cider. I have a couple of blushes from ColourPop. These are their Super Shock Cheek Blushes. This, was the, this is what the packaging looks like. I really don't use these blushes because, you know, it's kind of like a strange formula you know with the whole cream thing going on and it's not even that creamy they're very pigmented but uh, I don't know maybe since I played around with the Fenty one I will you know kind of get more into playing with those super shock ones from ColourPop so we'll see maybe I try these out with a sponge as well this one is a shade stop it did I say the shade on that one this one is Ooh, She's Blushing. So that's the one that I just showed you guys. Ooh, She's Blushing. And this one is Stop It. Stop It. Now that one is really, really pretty. It has like a coral, coral look to it. Then I have a few blushes from Lottie London. And these are their Blush Crush Blushes. This one is in the shade Zane. And I think all the ones that I have are like names. I don't know if they're names of guys or girls, but this one is called Zane. Let me just do a quick swatch so you can see the quality for the Lottie London. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this one is kind of light. So maybe if you don't want anything that's like too, too bright and bold, that might work for you. All of these are actually kind of similar to me. This one is in the shade Justin. Justin. That one is very, very pretty, actually. So this one is Zach. A little bit darker. Very, very pretty. Let me see how this swatches. I'm curious. Yeah, so that one is Zach. Ooh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> very pretty. Okay, here I have a Milani blush. This is the shade Red Vino. This is my OG ride or die, you know, perfect red blush. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has the gold flecks in it. So it does give you just a slight hint of sheen along with the blush, but not too much. It, it's not like shiny or anything. It just gives you a nice hint of that gold sheen. Okay, this is a Black Radiance blush. This one is called Toasted Almond. Toasted Almond. And this is what Toasted Almond looks like. Really, really nice for women of color. Beautiful flush of color on the cheeks. It looks really, really good. I like this one. This one here is another one from Black Radiance. This is Raspberry. And this one is a little bit more bold. Um, let me see if I can do a little swatch. 
swatchy swatch. The only thing about these blushes is I kind of was feeling a certain type of way because I felt like they got hard pan, but I think that if you kind of just get rid of that top layer, then you can get, you know, get your color back. Next, I have this blush here from J Cat. I ordered this from Ulta and it actually came completely like this was crumbs, <laughs> like pink dust. And I didn't want to waste it, so I went ahead and repressed it with some alcohol just to see if it would work. And it did repress, and the color is actually really pretty. This is a shade Love Struck. And, you know, I could have just called Ulta and asked for a replacement, but I guess I wasn't in the mood that day. I probably only paid a couple of dollars for it, but really, really pretty. I'm noticing going through my collection that I actually really like, <laughs> like this shade of blush. That same kind of like rosy, mauvey pink. This one here, oh, this is like a brand I've never heard of. I bought this from Ross like a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And I actually bought it to kind of use it as a blush slash highlight. As you can see, it has three different colors in there, uh, two blushes and like a highlight. And I really like to mix this together, like just take my brush and swirl it in there when I want a little bit of color with sheen in it. This is from a brand called Enchante Accessories. So yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of it. One of those miscellaneous brands from um, like Ross or TJ Maxx or something. But as you can see, it's kind of like a blush and a highlight mixed into one. So very, very pretty. And you know, I like to just mix them all together. Next here, I have a blush that I got from Colored Rain. I got this out of my mystery box that I ordered from them. And it's actually a pressed highlighter. <laughs> but when y'all see the color, y'all gonna be like, how is that a highlighter? And this is in the shade Bougie. It's a focal point glow lighter. So that is the color of this highlighter. So you can see why it is that I have it with my blushes. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but honey, yeah, that's, that's a little bit too rich for me as a highlighter, but as a, you know, illuminated blush yeah i can get with it so it's really pretty okay next i have this blush from la girl it's one of their just blushing blushes this is in the shade just rosy i never use this blush i don't even know if i ever have i can see that i've swatched it but i don't know that i've ever worn it um i don't know why i just don't reach for this blush but you know what i might play around with this um, during one of my shop my stashes coming up. Now I have these blushes from Minted that I ordered over the holidays with all of my shopping. This one is called Peach for the Stars. Oh, their packaging, I love their packaging. It's like that soft matte. It's just so, so nice. Oh, love their packaging. But this is what this one looks like, Peach for the Stars. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll swatch this one for you guys. <laughs> See, it's just a really light hint of peach, but it's like when you just want a soft bit of color, it looks absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks. You can see there, very, very pretty. This one here is Clay Too Much. <laughs> Clay Too Much, and I like their names too. That one is absolutely gorgeous. If you really just want a flush of color, nothing bright. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. This one here is Buried Away. Of course, they have to have a beautiful, gorgeous berry shade. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. I apologize if my camera is going in and out of focus. It doesn't like me today. And this one is Pinky Promise. So this one has kind of like that rosy pinky hue to it. Very pretty as well. I have this blush trio from Sleek. I wanted to try out one of their blush palettes and this is what their Sleek packaging looks like. This one is Flame 365, it looks like. Flame 365. So as you can see, that is a very bright, <laughs> bold uh, blush trio. Very, very bright, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
I have here my Cheeks Out Daiquiri Dip <laughs> from Fenty that I just got. If you guys watched my video, then you know I just tried this out with a sponge and it's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry that it looks nasty. I haven't cleaned it yet. It's probably going to stay nasty with me using a sponge. <laughs> Next, I have a blush here from L'Oreal Paris. This is the Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. And this is the one that smells like peach. It really does. Yeah, it's starting to fade, but it does smell like peaches. But it's just a really light, soft, peachy type blush. It doesn't really go, you know, is it doesn't have enough color for me, even though it's peach. But it is a very, very soft blush. I don't reach for that that often. Okay, I have a couple of these sun-kissed blush duos from Folklore. <laughs> Picked these up not too long ago. This one is, is, is <laughs> can I talk? This one is in the shade 06. So as you can see, these are dupe duos for the cover effects ones that came out. So it has the blush color and it has the, you know, the shiny topper blush that's zero six this one here is zero four and this one is really really pretty it's like a terracotta like peachy shade so so gorgeous oh my gosh perfect for spring and summer and if you can't afford the cover effects ones which i do have one here this is a cover effects one um they're a bit pricey then you might want to try out the Folklore uh, duos because they're quite a bit cheaper and they do work very nicely. So this is the only cover effects one that I have and this one is in Spiced Cinnamon. Now I have a few of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes in the little square packaging and this one is in the shade Rose. So that is what that one looks like. Just a beautiful rosy shade. This one here is in the shade, is it vine or wine? It looks like vine, but it could be wine. The writing is very small. But that's what that one looks like. This one is in the shade Wine Bourgeau, it looks like. Wine Bourgeau. This one is in the shade Berry Bay. That one's really pretty. Next, I have a few of the Sweet Cheeks blushes from NYX. So these are the matte ones. I don't have any of the shimmer ones. I don't really like shimmery blush. This one is in the shade Daydream. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. This one is in the shade Bang Bang. <laughs> bang Bang. And this one is very, very pretty really really nice blush shade and lastly i have the shade red riot i think this one is my favorite it's so nicely pigmented but yeah it's gorgeous red riot i think that's the darkest one next i have a couple of blushes from the shayla and ColourPop under construction collection these two blushes didn't really <laughs> It didn't really do it for me. This one is called Construct. So it's really kind of like, I don't know, just more of like a flesh tone, soft, dusty rose colored blush. It looks really pretty on, but just looking at it, it doesn't do that much for me. And this one is Whistle While You Work, <laughs> which is like a baby pink. <laughs> so... I don't know. I don't even think I've used this one yet because it is a baby pink, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Next, I have this Steve Laurent blush that I got from one of my monthly subscription boxes. This one is in the shade blush. <laughs> he spent a lot of time naming this one, did he? <laughs> but yeah, the shade blush. Very, very pretty. I have about 10 other blushes in the same color, but it's gorgeous. You can never go wrong with this shade of blush. It's so freaking pretty. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. <laughs> now, I picked this up just because it's like absolutely gorgeous. It's super pretty. I really don't see myself wearing this. This is called Dare to Soar, but I'm going to try it out, y'all. 
I'm going to try it out one day. It is a uh, shiny type blush, you know, kind of like the colored rain one that I swatched earlier. Really, really pretty. See, it's gorgeous. And it doesn't look like it would be too, too shiny. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out one day. But I will admit, it did scare me when I saw it because it is shiny. But it's pretty. Next, I have this little blush and bronzer duo, which came in my Frida Kahlo um, little kit that had the eyeshadow palette and the... You know what? Did it come with this or did I buy this separately? I might have bought this separately. I don't remember. I think I did because I think the eyeshadow palette just came with the brush cleaner. So yeah, this is just a little blush and bronzer duo that came in the Ulta and Frida Kahlo collection. I shouldn't have bought this. <laughs> shouldn't have bought this <laughs> as soon as i swatched it and was like okay i'm gonna try it out i was like i shouldn't have bought it the blush is too light for me and the bronzer is too light and it's just useless <laughs> it's just useless so yeah i shouldn't have bought that this is from pretty vulgar you guys pretty vulgar's packaging is just bar none it is so bomb okay this is called make them blush I think all my pretty vulgar stuff comes from my BoxyCharm because I have not bought any pretty vulgar, but I do like most of their products. Very, very nice. This looks similar, I think, to, is it the ColourPop one? I don't know. Anyways, very light, very mild. Okay, and this is a blush that I have from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place, their packaging is really pretty as well. And this blush, you guys, what is the name of this blush? Bella. This blush color is very, very unique to me. It is so, so pretty. It reminds me of watermelon. I don't know if it's because of the packaging as well, but it does. It reminds me of the color of watermelon. It's so pretty. Anyway, that's Bella. Okay, so I got through one basket. So let's move on to the next this one is from Milani. This is one of my newer blushes. This is the Spiced Rose. Ugh, this blush is gorgeous as well, you guys. Love this blush. It has a hint of, you know, a little shimmer in it. As you can see, it's not matte, but it's not super duper shiny to where it'll scare you away. It looks absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks. I love it. I have another blush from Milani. This is their famous Coral Cove. I think everybody is pretty familiar with this one. So, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a bit of a lighter shade for, you know, women of color. So it doesn't go as deep <laughs> as I would like, but it looks kind of cute. It looks kind of cute during the spring and the summer. Nice flush of coral. Next, I have from Milani. This is actually a Soleil bronzer. <laughs> But obviously this isn't going to bronze me and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it for highlight or as a blush. So it's kind of one of those in-between products where I'm not really sure what to do with it. If anything, I might end up decluttering it just because you see there, you know, it's definitely for fair skin. So I don't have no business buying it. But it's not like shiny enough for a highlighter. So I don't know. I think this is going to end up getting decluttered because it's useless to me. Next, I have a couple of blushes from e.l.f. I absolutely love e.l.f.'s primer infused. Is it? What is it? It's the, is it primer infused blush? I don't know. But I love their blushes. This one is Always Spicy. My absolute favorite from e.l.f. Always Spicy. It's like the perfect blush for women of color. And this one here is always rosy, always rosy. So this one has more of a hint of, you know, like that dusty rose kind of tone to it. Very pretty as well. Next, I have a couple of NYX blushes. These are the ombre ones. So this one is the shade Feel the Heat. <laughs> When I saw these in the NYX store, I was like, yo, what's that? <laughs> I was 
like, oh, that's pretty. You know, it is seriously an ombre blush. And these things are like crazy pigmented. Like, I'm not even kidding. They are crazy pigmented. So if you want an orange blush or this is Insta Flame, or you want a super bright pink blush, definitely go for these ombre blushes from NYX because, honey, these mugs are pigmented. And they're going to give you this color on your face. <laughs> They're so pretty. Now, this is one that I picked up from Target. And they have this brand there in their stores. I don't know if it's Cy or C-A-I. I don't know. I tried it out. Tried to try out the foundation. That didn't work out very well. <laughs> so, I had to take it back. I was like, mm-mm. No, ma'am. But anyways, this is their blush palette, and this blush palette actually is really nice. This one, is there a shade on here? Dark. This is their dark blush palette. So it's gorgeous. As you can see, honey, these colors are pretty, and they show up. And I believe, is that a highlighter? Yeah, there's like a highlighter in here as well. Is that a highlighter, or is that just a light blush? I don't remember. Let me see. Yeah, that's a highlighter. So yeah, there's a highlighter in there too with those blushes. Very, very pretty. Gorgeous. So that brand you can find at Target. Next, I have here the Catrice and Iman blush quad <laughs> that I picked up from Ulta. Oh my gosh. These blushes are so pretty. They're gorgeous. They're bomb. They show up nicely. I really like this um, blush palette. Very, very pretty excellent buy for myself and for my collection i guess i like nick's blushes okay but i think i got this in a boxy charm <laughs> i think i do i think i got this um like last summer when i did my unboxing of my ipsy and my boxy charm with my girls lily and dj i could have sworn this came in there so yeah this is a nyx blush palette this is their sweet cheeks blush palette and so it, it basically has like the same colors from the Sweet Cheeks line in a palette form. So very, very nice. Excellent to travel with. So you have different shades of blushes to choose from. This one I haven't had very long. This is my Sephora uh, Face Palette Trio. And this one is called Empower. And what it is, is it's like a blush, kind of like a shimmery blush and a highlight. Very nice, you guys. This palette is very nice. I'm so, so glad I picked it up when it was on sale. Really pretty, and it works very nicely. Ooh, child. One of my favorite blush quads. <laughs> this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of her blush kits. This one is the Gradient. Ugh. Yo. I know it looks kind of funky, but this this thing, oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one is like a lighter, a lighter blush. And then this dark one, oh my gosh. It's my absolute favorite, of course. But you know, it gives you the lighter blush in there as well as the darker blush. Um, this one here, I haven't tried yet. This one is more of kind of like a mauvey shade. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of this one here is more like a light mauvey shade. Has a little shimmer in it. And then the other one, let me see. Yeah, that's gray, honey. I'm not putting that on my face. <laughs> this one here, this gray, yeah, unnecessary. But these two here, honestly, that's all I need it for. Those two there, gorgeous. You can wear them separately or together. Very, very pretty. Okay, next I have here from LA Girl. This is the Island Hottie Blush Palette. I did pick this up recently from Ulta. I'm still kind of up in the air about it because it is a bit light <laughs> for women of color, you know, at least women of my color. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might be able to, you know, get into these two here. But, you know, only time will tell when I test it out. But it's very, very pretty for more fair skin tones, you can definitely rock this. Next, I have here Glowing in Grease from BH Cosmetics. This palette is so pretty, you guys. Look at that. Ah, 
Every time I look at this palette, I fall in love all over again because I can use all of those blushes and both of those highlighters, honey. I can use this whole friggin' palette. <laughs> so that excites me. I really, really like it. Next, I have here my Morphe blush palette. You guys have seen this a lot. This is the 8C with all of my greasy hand marks all over it. <laughs> but I've really been kind of using this a lot because it is so pretty. And, you know, there's a lot of different colors in here to play with. Of course, I stay on this side, but it's really, really pretty. I have a couple of blush palettes from Coastal Scents. I've had these for quite a while because I haven't ordered, well, I can't say I haven't ordered from Coastal Scents in a while because their last hot pot sale during the holidays, I did pick up a few more hot pots. <laughs> but these blush palettes I've had for quite a while. I mean, you want to talk about the variety of colors and shades in these blush palettes from Coastal Scents? Yeah, you have a lot of variety. So this is one where if I'm, I typically go for it for this lavender purple shade and that orange shade because those are pretty unique blushes that I really don't have just floating around in my collection. So I will go to this palette for those colors. This is the original 10 pan blush palette. Yeah, this is just a 10 blush palette. So this was the first one and that one was the second one. This one has more of your regular pinky rosy tones you know, not the purple and the orange, colors that people would be more likely to gravitate towards, you know, when reaching for blush. So this is the 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents. Next, I have my two Juvia's Place blush palettes. This one is the Saharan Volume 1. Very popular blush palette. Bold, beautiful colors in here. And there's also some gorgeous highlighters very very pretty i also have the saharan blush volume 2 and this one is more of the lighter shades kind of like that spring vibe to it you know definitely more fair toned skins can rock this as well so very very nice and then i also have this pure four in one blush book this is what it looks like and these blushes are gorgeous. Um, I really don't go for these because for one, I forget about them. And for two, like as you can really see in this one here, it does have like shimmer to it. These things are extremely pigmented. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, the 4-in-1 blush book from Pure. But these blushes are gorgeous. <laughs> they, they are. They are absolutely gorgeous. So if you're into this type of thing you might want to check it out okay guys i'm doing pretty good i only got one more bin and these are basically a lot of like blush or face palettes that have a blush in them so i'll start out with this one here <laughs> this one i bought from sephora it was on sale for like five dollars so you know they are trying to get rid of this thing <laughs> This one is the Holographic Face and Cheek Palette. But the reason why I went ahead and grabbed it for five bucks is because the blushes are pretty. Those, these blushes up here, I don't care about these holographic colors. I could put these like in my inner corners for inner corner pops on eye looks. But these up here, these blushes, they're pretty. So that's why I went ahead and snagged it. I mean, Sephora has really nice face palettes, great quality. And for five bucks, honey, I snagged it right on up. This one is my BH Cosmetics Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle Four Color Blush Palette. <laughs> this is from their new collection of <clears throat> blush quads. And so this is the one that I picked. Haven't used it yet, as you can see, but oh, it's pretty, ain't it? Ain't she pretty? So yeah, I can't wait to use this. I also have my Old Faithful Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette, okay? If I can never figure out what blush to use, I can grab this and it is easy as pie. I've had this blush palette for years and years and <laughs> years. These colors are just so gorgeous and vibrant. 
I don't even know does beauty treats even exist anymore but yeah this blush palette was perfect for me when I first got started because it had all the colors that I needed to play with. So I probably never get rid of that just for sentimental reasons. Next, I have my Revolution and Patricia Bright Face Palette. So of course, this is the Dust Till Dawn, the darkest one. And I have this in here because it does have a blush. These palettes, I don't, I don't really know <laughs> where to put them because... I can either put them with my blushes and my bronzers or my highlighters. So I tend to put them with my blushes because most likely if I'm looking for a blush, I can just use it for my contour and highlighter at the same time. So excellent, excellent face palette. Oh my gosh. Some of the best quality from Revolution. <laughs> Next I have here this Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. This is, does it have a name? No, it just says Glow. It's the Glow Face Palette. I got this from my girl DJ. She sent this to me a long little while back ago. I love this palette. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. I mean, you can look at it and you can see that, you know, that bronzer, of course, will not work for me. But the highlighters and the blush, ugh so pretty so so pretty I really need to pull this and use it more because it is gorgeous so anyway yeah so you see that has kind of like that shimmery type blush those beautiful highlighters is gorgeous I also have this colored rain and power um, collab duo it is a highlighter and a blush if you guys watch my channel at all, <laughs> you know I love this duo. Look how rich that blush is and honey, that highlight. Ugh, what? 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 <laughs> it is so gorgeous. Uh, you guys ever just open some of your makeup and it's just like, uh, my heart just starts to beat. <laughs> this is my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush uh, face palette or blush and highlighter palette. I picked this up during the Sephora sale and I think I said last time that I got it, you know, from Sephora, but no, they sold out. And so I went to Natasha Denona's website and they were on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed it from her. She had it on sale for the same price, but it, you know, of course I didn't have the extra 20% off. So this is what this palette looks like and honey, I can't wait to get into that blush and those highlighters. It's so, so pretty. Next, I have the Becca, Chloe, and Malika palette. Now, my girl Lily sent this to me, okay? And this mug is pretty, okay? Why haven't I pulled this? <laughs> I need to pull this and use it because it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at those colors, y'all. She is pretty. It's like one of those palettes for that like spring and summer vibe. Look at that. Look at that. On the cheeks, honey, when you want that glow, that summertime glow, mm, mm, mm. yes. So, so pretty. And honey, that thing was on sale forever. <laughs> it was on sale forever. And then the one time I went to go get it, they were out of stock, they didn't have any more. And so my girl found it and sent it to me, so so happy about it this is another sephora face palette Ugh. this one is the spice market okay i had to force myself to stop using this uh for a while because this was like all i was using i was traveling with it i was using it at home i fell in love with this spice market palette for one the blushes in here are gorgeous for women of color. The highlighter is beautiful. You got that bright white pop in there for inner corner in your eye looks. And this, I was using this as a bronzer. So yeah, this palette, very, very nice. Love it. And lastly, you guys, <laughs> I have these two Sephora Pro face palettes. I have the deep one. Is it deep or dark? This is deep and this is medium. The medium one, that's just, mm, anyway. <laughs> this is the deep one, which you've probably seen it a million times before, but honey, 
Look at the colors in here. And all of these pans, which are huge, I mean, the color comes off on your face exactly how it is in the pan. How rich and bold and beautiful and deep these colors are. Honey, These, those are the colors you're going to get on your face. This is perfect for, you know, your blush, your highlights, your bronzer, your contour, all of that. And you can use it for an eyeshadow palette too. That red, these browns, that orange, these shimmery shades, ugh, gorgeous. So if you're curious, I did do a video on this when I first bought it like a long time ago. You can search for it and see this in action. <laughs> now, the reason why I was just kind of like <laughs> laughing about this medium palette is because of the fact that it is, you know, the medium skin tone palette for lighter skin tones and when i saw it online i was like hmm i don't know those blushes are kind of cute you know their bronzer looks like you know it might bronze me up just looking at it you think okay it might and highlighters you know i can work with a highlight but my girl dj was like honey that thing is as dusty as the sahara desert <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, just like, I don't know about this one. So, but we'll see, you know, of course, since I spent my money on it, I'm going to try it out and see what happens, you know, see if I can make it work or not. If not, then, you know, I'll probably just have to give it away because um, I doubt if I take it back. So anyways, this is the medium, just in case you are of lighter skin tone and are interested in the palettes from Sephora. So that's it, you guys, for my blush collection. I can't believe I made it through. <laughs> Never would have made it. <laughs> but yes, I made it through my whole blush collection, okay? And I'm so glad about it because I really wanted to share my blushes with you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do, like, I guess a bronzer and contour collection. I did a highlighter collection once before. I have acquired some new highlighters since then, so I guess I could do it over again. But, yeah, just let me know if you want me to do a bronzer and contour one. I could do that as well. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me to go through all my blushes. Let me know if you have some of these and what your thoughts are on some of the blushes in my collection. Okay, so thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!